change the game. For today, we sell Omalale, we sell Atitaman Flores, and we sell Burn. And if you can notice, out of that, the genre of the punter. Most of the youth then today, where they try to make music, that are something for try to keep them out of problem and thing. You know, and our ways and means, our lead end for them and thing. You know, so I say, support Belizean Monique's music to the fullest. That are for me, Dara Saiba, you know. For me, myself, I want to be a Belizean artist too. And you have to follow your dreams, you know. Support the Belizean artist people. I believe to take and change the game because I have the game. Saying I'm here to change the game, man. I'm willing to make a change and take whatever steps necessary to change that game. I'm willing to do what it takes to make sure I change the game. Change the game. I'm beyond the juego. Come on, Belize. Let's change the game. Like I said, change the game where I get to everybody out there to make them know what really happened behind so, the scenes. So, 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 so you tell me you, you, you tell me this. You, you, say, you look at me, look at me. You guys, say. you know. What at the DJ exactly, right now, where exactly. they come up. Exactly, exactly. Follow business. Where, 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 where the, business. Business. What we think what we could do to change the game in this is unify because a segregated nation will be taken for mockery. But a united nation cannot be segregated nor divided by folly. Yeah, I think there's a lot of changes and I think you need to start at the top of some of those organizations that are there to present culture. They need to be looked at because if you only come in one shape or form, they're not going to push what you're doing because it doesn't serve their interests. We take pride in each and every song we make, even this one spin some beliefs and no plates. Multi talented, multi talented beliefs. So, real to artists like them artists overseas. Yes, yeah. see, we try to make it, no fight me, don't please. I think that one of the main things that we need to do in Belize to change the game, first of all, is for us as Belizeans to learn more, to appreciate what we have, to love ourselves and to love what we create. I think that's where everything starts. I think we need to promote, encourage Belizean artists who do their own thing, who are not copying what other people are doing, but who are innovative in their ideas, who celebrate our culture, and who put that at the forefront of their art. I think that's the number one step. Well, my advice to the Belizean artists basically is, you know, if you want, if you want to get your stuff played, you know, just get it recorded correct, you know, make, don't, don't, don't do a lot of negative songs because we won't play a lot of negative songs. Well, I think Bordeaux for change the game. To tell you the truth, brother and sisters, right? I want to see Belize artists upliftment in itself because if I see some artists come to me, they could be lower than me, they could be higher than me. Me not discriminated like that. Me discriminated like you have to live up, I have to live up. Me need bread on the table. What you need? You don't need nothing? Huh? You don't need nothing, boy. Watch out, pull your head together here yeah, and tighten your brains. I believe that we could have a music industry that will offer opportunities for talented Belizeans in all aspects, not just the people who sing and dance, but the people who record, play music, produce. I mean, the industry is not just about the people you see on stage. Belizeans have shown that for a small place, we, we punch about our weight when it comes to talent and potential. And I believe we could develop an industry that would be as valuable to us as tourism or sugar or any agro-export that could be as big. All you have to do is look at Jamaica. I always use Jamaica as an example because back in the 70s, 60s and the 70s, Successive Jamaican government decided that, you know something? We have something here that's unique. We have something here that the rest of the world would appreciate and we can make money from. And they planned and they promoted it that way. And today, the Jamaican music and entertainment industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean it when I say a multi-billion dollar industry. There is no good reason not to think that Belize can't do the same, albeit on a smaller scale. Develop an industry that can provide a decent living for 
thousands of reasons. We have the talent, we have the potential. All we lack is the organization and the will to do so. Like Tupac Shakur, it could be said that Belizean hip hop artist Bern Velasquez predicted his own fate on his DVD CD release called Life After Deportation. At the age of 13, Velasquez and his family illegally migrated to the U.S. Years later, he managed to obtain a green card, and soon after, his career began to take shape. So tell me, where do you get your inspiration from? Was it from other artists? I'm definitely inspired by other artists, but for more so, I'm more inspired by my real life issues and situations and circumstances that I've been through. So what made you decide to change the game? Well. I didn't decide to change the game. The game changed me. What I did was make sure that I put myself in position to be able to take advantage of circumstances instead of allowing myself to be a victim of circumstances. So what are some of the things that you noticed here in Belize, in the music industry, that you felt needed to change? I can't help but to notice that everywhere I travel around the world, the radio stations always big up and play the music of the musicians from that area, town, city, state, country. If you go to Europe, USA, Canada, even Jamaica, or any other country, you will hear the music of the natives being played more than any other music. Here in Belize, it's the opposite. It is embarrassing to think that most of the DJs that are on the radio stations are comfortable in promoting others than they are their own. I'm not comfortable with that. I gotta change the game. Hey, well, what I'm doing to change the game, I'm bringing it. Like, you see me here, I'm here doing my thing. I'm trying to bring hip hop to you, to Belize. You know, I'm at the Bellican Fest tearing it up. You know, I'm, I burned to me to San Pedro. I'm in San Pedro laying it down. I'm bringing the hip hop to you live. I'm bringing it to you. You know what I mean? Like, every day you see me, any way you see me, you give me a mic, I'm going to spit 10 bars. You know what I mean? To give you 16 or 22 or whatever you want. You want 32 bars, I'm going to give it to you. I'm trying to bring hip hop to Belize, but, you know, I don't know if I'm, I don't, I don't feel the love. Where, where the love at? Like, I'm not feeling, can I get a hug? I know that sometimes, you know, people might say, well, they might have issues with certain groups, but I think that we need to look beyond the imperfections of some of our artists and we need to encourage them. We need to be supportive and create avenues for these young artists to kind of expose themselves and show us what they have to offer. We need more appreciation from the people. The people have to show we the love. Uh, too much time, too much time, uh, like you say, artists from foreign come and they crowd up that when we have our own thing. When we have one thing, we don't see nobody show up. Therefore, we show none at all. Nobody. People Positive got what video they are there. No, a video what dance they are there. Positive, tell the people, eh? $5 to go in. Watch out. Now tell them no lie. So they. You can count the people, eh? You can count the amount of people, eh? What about free people? What do you really think? Compare, like when you say compare. One five dollars, one entrance fee, a five dollars for a Belizean artist to an entrance fee, yeah, 60. fifty to sixty dollars. I wanna let I you show sure you If you go to one of my Belizean artist show, next morning when you wake up, you don't complain about where you want to cook or where I want to eat or my picnic, and I have no money to carry to school. As the spokesperson for BTV, Belize Entertainment Television, I take pride in the fact that. We play more local productions than anybody else. In fact, than everybody else put together. We take serious pride in that. You take a look at BTV, you won't see us showing Chinese karate movie and American thug movies. You'll see us showing locally made movies. And if you would like to see something on our channel that is not there as yet, it's because it hasn't been made as yet. But even that we are working on. And I urge all of our colleagues from the various media houses to do the same. Give a little bit more preference to the Belizean artist. 
give a little bit more preference to these guys who actually can make a difference on a lot of topics in our society. These guys where if they weren't in the studio producing these tracks you refuse to pay, you might be home checking to see what was just stolen. Well I think the game started to change the moment Blaze and the Bone came on the scene in terms of where the artist is and where the artist is going and where music is going in the least. I feel that that is why the Father put you in certain positions so that you can be a blessing to others. Heavenly Father, please protect and guide me as I go through my challenges. Bless me with the strength and knowledge to be able to turn them to opportunities. I'm working on a better me so I can be better for you. Sometimes I just won't have a clue on what it is I need to do. I'm just working on a better me so I can be better for you. Sometimes I just don't have a clue on what it is I need to do. Heavenly Father. Tight. Tight stuff. Wow, well, we're really, we're really listening so we're going to it. So many childhood dreams vanished in the years. Shed no blood, I'm still shedding tears. Self esteem shattered by failure and impurity. Potential has been battered for security. Need to survive, so I'm doing a job. My individuality been trampled by mobs. So much talent wasted through misuse. Arrogant but feel inferior to child abuse Trying to be wise cause I feel like a fool Look at myself with disgrace when I see my image in the pool Who's this mockery of humanity staring back at me? Bloodless eyes of shame, how could this be? Where's the beauty of my figure, my style and grace? Wisdom and knowledge give me Moderna and some faith Is the thief of my identity known to you? As he's known to me, let me know what I need to do I'm working on a better me, so I can be better for you Sometimes I just don't have a clue on what it is I need to do I'm just working on a better me, so I can be better for you. Sometimes I just don't have a clue on what it is I need to do. I'm very passionate about music in Belize, and I'm passionate about Belizean entertainers and the people who write, who perform, who compose music. I believe that it could be an industry for Belize, but most of all, it is one of the areas that makes me feel proud to be Belizean because it gives us our unique identity. We will appreciate our artists more if we learn more about them, if they become more personal, if we see them not as people just out there performing on stage or on a video, but if we can make that connection through what we learn about them in the media. It gives you a sense of identity culturally. Your music is you. And that's the way I feel. Yes, Naya! Yes, Naya! And yes, Naya! I want to live my life to make you my best friend as we pack my wife. Go back to my mommy. Show you after daddy. Put me for her. Let me come to get my daddy. I promise to love you, man. I never let you go. We Belizean artists, we have an obligation to say that we have talent, we have an obligation to show the talent. We can't just talk about the talent, but I got talent and the...